I, I think it's super cool how like you and Tenny are able to do music oh, and cool. just be like cool sisters. Because mm -hmm. I remember, I remember seeing yeah, like, so cool. Yeah, <laughs> I remember seeing one advert that both of you did. Uh huh. I can't remember the name of the advert now, but I saw both of you acting as sisters in the advert or something like uh -huh. that. And it was actually so cool. How are you guys able to like just maintain that despite being in the same industry? Yeah, because I'm, I'm a cool sister. Boys. Yeah, it's, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but do you sometimes feel the need to play like big sister? No, that's not. <laughs> now, the she I am. She's big sister. <laughs> like, wait, you can call her the tiny kilo one year, kilo de toffee. Do you do that? Like, okay, do you so do that? I remember one day I saw her, she was sagging. I'm like, wait, put, put, put that thing. <laughs> As she came to me, she was like, Nini. I'm a superstar No, no, no. She was like, Nini, please, don't, please don't, don't embarrass me. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Zero Conditions Podcast. And today I'm super pumped up because it's giving ladies nights. <laughs> it's giving only the babes are here. Mm -hmm. And not just like just babes, like we've got Nini Ola in the building. <laughs> it's late and she can still, still give us <laughs> the voice. We've also got Radio Share. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I was really thinking Nini was going to pull up with like, her colored hair because Nini's always giving us like different colors of hair, but she's like, she didn't just give it all black. And it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. She's like, I should be in bed. I should be in bed, well, but like, I, 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 if you pull me Why outside, not cast I'll, me like that? she'd be like, I'll come outside. It's okay. <laughs> I'll come outside. So Lani is still away, but it's fine. All the girls are in the building. I'm going to mm -hmm. have a good time. Nini, mm -hmm. how you feeling? I'm good. I'm very good. I Grateful. Think. You look very I'm good. I'm thankful. You too, I like your hair. Thank you. And your short skirt. Yeah. <laughs> can you, my can you cross Vigota? Not really. You're about the same Mafo Gota. Ma Mafo Gota. Yeah, yes, Mafo Gota skirt. Yeah, actually, it's actually <laughs> Mafo Gota skirt. I, I, I can't even lie, it is. But in case you do not know, for people that are, I don't know, if you do not follow all Nini's interviews or just hear Nini speak, she actually used to, I would have said she still does her hair herself and her makeup. And then you sing... Yes, and then she can dance. dance. And then she can perform. I, let, me, let me talk about the event that I attended the last time. No, not the last time I saw Nini perform. I think it was at Femme Africa. Oh, the ladies um, thingy. You were there now? Yes, sir. I was present. <laughs> you were present. You, and did I you just, shake your body? No, I did, uh, uh, actually. No. <laughs> I feel like it's impossible for Nini to be on stage I and you won't think that you will not dance. First of all, like she was made to make you dance. No, like, actually, that's the truly. job that she gave us. I was like, this said I gave you myself. See you now. You just gas dance, you know. <laughs> Radio, you're actually correct. Yeah, and I the funny thing is that she does it with heels. <sighs> oh my God, that big. When you were sharing talent, where, 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 where did I go? So what's, what's then God now gave up. Boom, boom. Ah. What's your hidden talent? I don't know, Nini. Ah, you don't know. Ah. Nini, I, I don't know. Don't mind that, she's yeah. lying. I don't know. I don't know, but <laughs> Nini, I'm here because of you. If, if you yeah. say so. Don't but mind her. Nini, you're, you're literally like super fly. And I oh, think you're, my you're so hot and sexy. Ah, ah. Only me. Only just you. Yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Give me, give me. It's like, yeah. And you just dropped an album. Yeah. Press play. Girl. Press play. Were you at the listening? No, I wasn't. Actually. Why didn't you come? I, I didn't know about it. I just saw, I was on the internet and I was like, nobody invited me. <laughs> no, not me. I'm talking about power. I know you're going to come Did to you me. Come, but Wait, let's finish with radio. Radio. So why didn't you come? Fair, Nini's so, asking. No, to, to be fair, I think it's since I went, went away from the media side of things, people don't be remembering to invite me to these things. It's okay. I understand. Yeah, you get, I so get it. I think that that's what it was. Typically, no, I invited everyone. Maybe yeah, no, no, I'm just saying I'm no longer in the places where everyone would have oh. me in. Typically, yeah. <laughs> so, like, so like I understood. I was like, ah, I missed but out on this you one. You yeah, missed out I missed this because time. all my and friends were, were there. there. That, they're not I'm your friends. To... But they can't. But your friends, not your true friends. But your friends can't invite you. They're now. now my friends. Yeah, because they yeah, showed up for me. My friends. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's you, if it's you, it's okay. Yeah. I'll be fine. I'll heal. <laughs> Mia, you're coming to me now. Let me just explain myself. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had work. Wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After work. No. 
Which you know how my work be. So yeah. I actually did have a work related thing to do that night. Mm-hmm. And when I was done, I was done like eleven and I was already since we talked was already I'm like so talk as the party finished, but it felt like at the time when I was done with work, the party had already ended. But I was no, with no, no, no. We're still digging it. She's like, we're not, she's not taking that. Uh, but I apologize. I will punish you, don't worry. I... But are you not doing things for your fans this December, though? Fans, Is did you come to visit? Anyway, not, moving on. We've been listening. But do you understand? But we've been listening. Nini, we've you been know, listening. To be fair, not to no, you're my darling, child. You know, I know, you you're, know my, you're, like, my, you're my baby me girl. Me, I'm a nini. I'm and a nini or loud. Nini, deal. <laughs> on a noma, noma. <laughs> But yes, but shout out to you for that one. Like Thank you, my darling. But aside from like the music, what have you been up to? It's the music, my darling, the music. Huh. Just the music, because I've been working, recording songs, and the album just dropped. Dropped, yeah. Press play. And, you know, when you're cooking something up, you know, you're hopeful that, you know, people will love it. And that mm-hmm. also that your intent for that project, you know, you can creatively you know make it possible mm-hmm. and i'm thankful that i did mm-hmm. yeah so um with the album when when would you say you started compiling these songs to say this okay so i'll okay, so say i started recording about i think about two years ago a year and a half well, mm-hmm. i finished recording some songs this year mm-hmm. Okay. I know that for artists, you guys are always in the studio, you mm-hmm. are always working, making music. Mm-hmm. Sure. And to be fair, as a Nigerian living in Nigeria, that mm. I get to interface with artists a lot of times. Okay. And I attend shows that someone who used to be like, that is in the, in the space or used to be in the space a lot. Mm-hmm. And I go to these shows. Mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes when we attend your shows, I don't know, maybe it's me just speaking because I'm as an engineer, I'm not really used to fantastic stuff. Mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes when you don't perform, we need to pay you extra money. <laughs> she does put on a good show. It feels like we need to, you need to give us back. The album we need to give you But like let me tell you something. I, re- I remember concert. there was one booking. I was seeing videos and it felt like they were at a Ninola headline I d- concert. I was just like, what's going Which on? Which one? The listening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I like, beefy sweet talk by. I, I like, don't leave it was from. Because I, I, I tied in the um, 10 year anniversary. Mm. That's mm. 10 years of Nini Ola being on stage. stage yeah. Yes. So, yes, yeah, so it was 10 Con- years well, of Queen. Well done. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so Ten much. 10 years is not thank a you. joke. Yeah. In this industry. In this industry. No, it's and not. Keeping as, as an as, indie artist. I think it's even beautiful because yeah. she stuck to her ways. Like, she stayed yes. in Nini Ola yes. all through the 10 years. Yes. Of course. I had to feel like, you know, where's Nini Ola? She's always She's there. Yeah, Nini sure. Ola. I love sure. it so much. Thank but you sometimes feel like you're, you're, you're doing too much for us. I'm do sorry. it too much. Okay. Do you sometimes feel yes? Now do you sometimes feel like Melody is killing me today. Do you sometimes feel like <laughs> even if I don't do as much, they won't complain because the fans actually will not. Is the tr- they actually will not complain. We actually go for shows sometimes, and it's like we're the ones singing back. But when you go for your show, you're the one dancing. Do you sometimes feel like maybe I don't have to put on so much effort. For the I well, first of all, it's something that I love. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I love to sing and dance, mm-hmm. and then it's a job, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that's why I get booked. A lot because they're like Nini will come yeah. and kill it. I come with my dancers and I. That's when I even have fun. Hmm. Mm. That's when I have fun. That's when I get to go out really because I don't really go out. I'm, I'm I'm an introvert. I never see you anyway. So that's when I get to interact with people yeah. and the people that I made this song for in the studio. I'm giving them an experience. Yeah. So when they go back home, they're like, Ah, oh, I don't remember that song Nini Allah performed it this way. Oh, I danced to this song with Nini Allah and stuff like that. So for me. That's it. Some people are just, you know, recording artists, but I am a recording artist, a performing artist. I just love it. So do you like? So how do you? How do you rehearse? Do you like rehearse like every week? Or? No, it's every day because, oh. yeah, every single day because there are some impromptu bookings that come, and you have to be prepared. Yeah. Sometimes they're like, oh, sorry, can you come today? Um, there's a booking by some, so, so. I'm like, is the money right? No problem, I'm there. Yeah. Are you for real? So, yes. Because yeah. sometimes some, some other artists might disappoint, or maybe even that event, it could be a birthday surprise. Maybe the person yeah. didn't plan it. Yeah. And the person is like, okay, do you know what? Let's book Niniola. Or, or, you know, come and surprise the bride. She's yeah. a Niniola fan, yeah, yeah, or man. the birthday girl, something like that. Yeah, so you have to be prepared. So the way people go to the gym every day, you like rehearse every day? Okay, so I have my 
vocal exercises. I don't. I joke got, about to ask you that. Like, mm -hmm. yes, and then also my rehearsals, dance mm. rehearsals. I don't joke with them with my dancers and all of that. Mm. And I do a lot of, I choreograph a lot of my songs yourself. Yes, with my dancers. So, you know, I'm working constantly. I love it so much. So not just <laughs> recording, but preparing for the stage as well. So for someone like me that I can't really move my waist, I can't dance. How are you able to do this? Do you have a choreographer or do you just... I, that, like I just she said, I choreograph myself. Yeah, so do you have... like I know that people, like sometimes, you know, artists say things like, oh, so I do this dance routine myself, but we know that we also, they also work with like a team of choreographers that I don't have style. no choreographer. Who I just have my... You know style? Who is teaching me? I, I so do. you teach your dancers? <laughs> I have my dancers and we're there and, you know, I give them the routines. Yes, every now and again, they might be like, oh, Ma, can we do, do this? Can we do that? that but yeah. I'm in charge of my choreography. Ooh. And have some periods. Yeah. It's like poor. So that's why when I'm on stage, I can, you know, get out of the routine, play, and I know when to come back. Mm -hmm. Because you, I'm you doing everything. Yes, it. exactly. <laughs> so like you said, like you're an introvert as mm -hmm. a person. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> She's in here. <laughs> and you are in the media space. You're mm -hmm. literally like... A singer, you're an artist, you'll be doing all these things in this industry. Entertainer, yeah. An entertainer. Mm -hmm. It's like you've been here for you've been here for ten years, yeah. literally. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the music industry is one of the craziest places to be. It's a business <laughs> <laughs> space. People people outside don't really know that. Yeah. They just feel like, Oh, you guys are having fun. It is it's not it's fun. Mm. You know, it is fun. I mean, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. it is fun. But when we, when it comes to the funds, yeah. it's not fun. You yeah, need like yeah. heavy funding and stuff like that. Now, how do you just stay focused on the business side of the industry? Like, how do you just, just focus on doing music? No, like, how do you stay? First of all, as you you've been an artist in the music space. Uh huh. You are very unproblematic. Uh -huh. Like you're just doing your shit and just doing your thing and minding your business. Yeah. How do you just stay on that side and not get involved in all the drama? Because I feel like, you know, every week, different drama be popping up in the industry. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, this person, even internationally, there's so much going on. Uh -huh. Do you understand? How do you just stay there and just focus on your business and not get trapped into all the drama? Okay, so really it depends on the person. For me, it was intentional that when you hear Niniola's name, what comes to mind? The music. And so it's been that way for 10 years. I don't mm -hmm. have time for any shenanigans. It's just the music. I do mm -hmm. my music and I'm out. Mm -hmm. That's that's it. How do you not chill? What do you do to chill? What do I do to chill? You throw parties, you come to my house to have fun. You're not hearing anything about me. You think I'm throwing parties. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna <laughs> say, <laughs> like, people do parties and you want to parties. Really? <laughs> Fun. What yeah. do I do for fun? Um, I play games on my phone. What I am listening to music. For? What games do you play for? Uh, merge games. Yeah. Farm games. Uh, <laughs> you play them cooking ones. I've stopped for now. Oh, okay. You um, taking I'm a break? Up with those ones. <laughs> when was the last time you saw a movie? And what movie did you see? Ah, uh, what movie? I'm more into series now, because, I don't know. Okay, so what series are you cur currently following? Ah, uh, there's oh, two, actually. Okay. <laughs> what you do at the same time? I've tried to remember. Oh, my God. That, uh, what, I don't remember. What um, genre? Um, fantasy. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember, because I just started. Are you sure you do anything outside of music, Nini? You feel like, I feel like you're always just working. Because like it's the music, first... and then yes, I watch TV sometimes, play games. What else? That's play it. video games? No, 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 on my phone. On your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like yes, so you're just always phone, yes. inside. Every, you're just always on inside playing Bro. games on your phone. Yeah. And just like dancing. I'm sure she'll just be in the house just dancing in the mirror and stuff. Yeah. Just do that. You just be dancing. <laughs> I feel like you do no, that. No, 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 it can be tiring. So uh, I, yeah. I only do that when I have to. Which is almost every day. But when I listen to music, I listen to music. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. That's okay, fair, so actually. What, in, in terms of what you're listening to, I mean, aside from press play, mm -hmm. what are you listening to at the moment? Are you Tracy Chapman. Mm. Um, Shakira. Um, old school music, old school that's what music. I listen to. Hmm. Yeah. 
I only listen to new um, school music because you, you can't really learn much from that. Huh. Hmm. That's an angle. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely be an angle. But I love an old school music. Okay. That's fair. I, I understand why. As someone who would consume both, I understand why you tilt towards like old school yeah, music old more school than music. like new, music, new school music, and that's fine. Before you decided to start singing, as kids, as like when we were younger, mm-hmm. I feel like we all had like different things we wanted to be. Like, oh, I want mm-hmm. to be a doctor. Oh, I want to be a runway model. I uh-huh. want to do. What were you? What did you think you wanted to do? I've always, always, always wanted to be a singer and performer. Always. So you're literally living your dreams 10 years in a row. That's amazing. Actually, yes, I am. Lots of <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't have any points where you wanted to be a doctor? Or you see, you wanted to... I've mm. always, always wanted to be... That to is be so Like, always. that is actually so cool. I because wanted to be a chartered accountant. Yeah. Because you're all chartered now. I don't know what that is. So what are you doing now? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, daddy. <laughs> Is the love, <laughs> love for me? Is the I love you, daddy? So now there was something that, um, so I, as a young girl, mm. as someone who was like when, like when I was younger, mm. because of how slim I am, was, was yeah, well, was was, they're still slim, but they still make them. like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I literally used to think that I was going to be like a full blown like runway. I wanted to. Oh, do you think I was gonna be? Mm. But one day when I, I went for the audition and they said that as slim as I was, I wasn't as slim enough. Uh, and I had to be slimmer, slimmer than what than I was. Like, oh. like what broom? <laughs> Broomstick. They're about. They're about. And so people were having. So there was a conversation that was trending on social media where people were talking okay. about there was this there was this babe. And you mm-hmm. know when like models are typically slim, mm-hmm. so like a, a plus size babe came out. She's not plus size, but she's chubby. Mm-hmm. She's chubby than what a typical Romy model would look okay. like. So she came out and she was talking about how people were auditioning for like mm-hmm. Fashion Week and um, Jitsuko Fashion Week. And the girl was like, mm-hmm. oh, she wanted to audition too. Okay. But because typically they won't pick a chubby person or someone mm-hmm. that's as big as her on the runway, that she feels like we need to see more representation of women who are not as slim mm-hmm. in different places like on like billboards, okay. runway, movies, mm-hmm. and just basically just True. clamoring for that. Mm-hmm. And people came at her saying that is she's being like she's uh, entitled to think that she they should pick her because she's chubby or that she's a she's not as slim as i am mm-hmm. or as slim as wrong with model did you feel before coming into music that you had to be a, a type of way no of no time? no way no way for me <clears throat> i've always been comfortable in my skin hmm. comfortable the way i am the way god made me and i'm using what he gave me how he gave it to me mm-hmm. to entertain myself and people so there was no pressure like you come into the industry and someone said, no, Nini, for you to be like a who, who is who is that person? Who made the rules? Uh, <laughs> I'm not seeing that person. That's like I'm <laughs> No. Maybe if someone signed me. Yeah. The person would have, you know, had that control, uh, but no. Nah. But because you were doing it by yourself. Yeah. And doing it by yourself. So you didn't have to do any, choose the sound. or anything. No. Nah. And be like, no, you have to do it this way because I'm yeah. paying. Or because, no. Oh God, big shit. <laughs> but do you think that generally we we need that conversation about sizes and more representation for like so in terms um in the entertainment industry I don't think we really have that I issue. We, I mean, do we have that to be issue? Honest, in certain, sometimes in, certain not aspects, in the music industry with the women. There's no pressure whatsoever, is there? there I don't I know. think there is. I feel like. Sometimes in the terms of your um, body size, body, yes. but like some, a lot of people have, what? should I say, defied the odds? If that makes any yes, sense. Yes, I agree. I don't think it's. I think. I think. I think in Nigeria, this is what I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think, especially in the music space, yeah. mm-hmm. regardless of your size and color, it just depends on how you see yourself. Mm-hmm. If you feel like you're beautiful and you're sexy, mm-hmm. people will buy it. Yeah, but you have to be sexy and you have to be beautiful. For the baby, that what I'm saying is your terms, not, your what, terms, society, not what society, yeah, wants. exactly. Because you have slim f- um, female artists, yes, that are sexy, yeah, you have the curvy ones, yeah. and yeah, so I, I it's just yeah. you and how you want to sell yourself. If you're yeah, confident yeah. and you sell yourself that way, that you're beautiful, people will take I feel it. Like those conversations spread up more in the international 
seen than in our scene. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Be yes. Because yeah, because over there, yes, yeah, it's a bit all the pressure. More, oh, yeah. oh, you have a wrinkle. Oh, yeah. go and do Botox. <laughs> oh, you have the. No, yeah. it's not. It's nah, not happening it's here. Not, I don't think it's something. No, like no, no, no. Really hold water. No, not here. From Nigeria. No, here. I, I don't know. Have you seen any conversation? Well, well, I, I think that. Oh, I, oh I, this one is too skinny. Go and add bum bum. Oh, this one is too fat. Oh, this one is too. Nothing extreme. It's nothing extreme. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, but yeah. I, I hear, I hear you when you say that, Nini. Mm -hmm. I, I hear you when you say nothing extreme. Mm -hmm. But I, I just genuinely think that when it comes to these conversations, when mm -hmm. it comes to like how you should look like as a baby in the in mm -hmm. the industry or something, I think that for women, there's always a standard that you are supposed to meet up to as opposed to the men. I don't think that the men have to even be sexy. I think they, so, they just have to show up. So, yeah, I, okay, so okay, now I think I get enough. what you're saying. Yeah. In enough. Nigeria, it's just the basic things. Just look good. Yeah. Um, get your hair done, your nails done, your your wardrobe styling and yeah. everything. Just be on point and just look good point. and presentable. But no extremists. Uh, nothing like that. Yeah. yeah. Like doing, oh, go and do a tummy talk or lipo or this. If you're going to do it, you're doing it because you want to do it, not because of pressure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I hear you when you say that. What was your favorite song to record on this body of work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's hard. Uh, <laughs> um, they're all my babies. <laughs> Sorry, they're all my babies. Starting from the first track, um, Lavish, because mm -hmm. that's why it's press play. So I think I'm very interested in how you, the first time your magic sticks Blinked. had to have ah, Okay. Because Why? I do personally think that the is like, of course. It's going to be a banger. Of course. You Why? Need magic sticks to make amazing music. <laughs> If I heard that Nino Land and, and Magic Sticks were in the studio, I'd be like, oh. Okay, sure. Oh, <laughs> that is going to go so hard. So I want to know the first time, what, what was the first production of Magic Sticks that you heard and you were like, I, I would love to work with this guy? Did that ever happen? Did you have that kind of an encounter? Oh, of course. Um, I worked with him a few years ago on, mm. on the song Bum Bum. Bump the bump the bum bum. Yeah. So he did that bit. I mean, he killed it. Yes. Yeah. He killed yes. that beat. Like yes, every did, time I performed that, that song. song, I mean, everybody's like, oh, because the beat is crazy. Yes. I don't joke with my beat. Yes, yes, you don't. No, I don't. Big shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't. You don't. Yeah, I don't. And also um, mm -hmm. to Michael. Let me just give Michael credit because let me just give a small biscuit. <laughs> That's small biscuit. Because the thing about, he knows the kind of beats that I like, mm -hmm. so he'll just filter everything and then be like, okay, yeah. he'll filter all the noise. Plenty, plenty noise yeah. before it comes up. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay, nice. okay, that's fine. I, I think that also with the kind of music that you do, like mm -hmm. your genre of music, I mm -hmm. feel like the kind of music that you do, a lot of times when you hear it, it makes you want to move. Yeah, and sure. I think that that's, do you think that's why you're extra particular about the beat? Okay, so... I've always loved to sing and dance. So when I sought out um, SARS, after winning my prize money from the competition, my <laughs> two millionaire. You're two millionaire, you like, take it. Yes. And I, when I sat down with him, and I was like, okay, what do you want? I said, I want a sound that can accommodate singing and, and dancing. You know, dancing. And I was like, okay, I know what to give you. And then I heard the beat for your body. Dropped my vocals, came out, banga, everybody loved it. The second one, Suki, and people started calling me Queen of Afro. I was I'm like, okay, <laughs> I think this is it. Okay, I, I think I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, yes, I always want to dance and sing and make people, you know, engage people. So, how do I do that singing music for? Yeah. The mortuary or dead people. So, I like slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny thing is, a lot of times when, sometimes when people are like, when performers, when artists are fantastic performers, like when they can dance, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. people be trying to have doubt about how well they can sing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you like an example. It's like how Beyonce is a fantastic performer, she mm -hmm, can dance. Mm -hmm. People will be saying stuff like, oh, she's not such a fantastic singer. I don't think she's one of the greatest vocalists mm -hmm. because they feel like she's a performer. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. sometimes... When do you sometimes feel like because of how well you be killing this beat mm -hmm. and be giving us a show, do you sometimes mm -hmm. feel the need to remind people that oh my they single? <laughs> not not remind. I don't need to remind you because you know that I can sing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no. So it's not remind, it's just to feed my audience. Because yeah. I have different audiences. I have yeah. the R and B and I have the, the turn up people. 
Now I'm always feeding the turn up people. You are. I was about to go there because I know like, the last time. Let me laugh. <laughs> you know, I'm always feeding the turn up always. people. Always. And every now and again, I'm like, okay, let me drop something for my R&B we lovers. people. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's just feeding them. So we that you are, we that we really love the. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you remember us at all sometimes? Like that's why that's why I just said that once every now and again I'll give you something. You guys don't pay my my bills so ah. <laughs> Oh my god. Ah. Oh even my though, god. Even though let me let me put it this way. See, yeah. see, let me tell you something. You see the Koja Rush Rush people, yeah. dance people, yeah. uh, every time now they want you to turn yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. They're having an event. Mm-hmm. You know how someone's come and boy your yeah. crowd, your yeah. audience. Yeah. But also, you see this sets of people yeah, yeah. <laughs> this r&b lovers yeah. they're also making i'm making money too yeah. from you know movies doing soundtracks also um oh. i remember a diamond company that you know used one of my songs oh. as their theme song that's for about a year or two yeah. or something so i'm you know i'm doing We're stuff trying and now. also that's all american um tv show so so you see the the r&b songs or the slow songs have their use Mm. So besides feeding you guys, really, I'm I'm making the money too. <laughs> <laughs> so the you. thing is, I'm not losing out. So uh, we want this um um I am slow song. Don't worry, I will do it for you. <laughs> we want this dance. <laughs> oh, I'm there. I'm not missing any money. Everything is like we're gonna yes, go go le I'll collect it too. I have so, to collect it. So I'm interested. I don't have one money tree somewhere. <laughs> I'm interested in knowing on this album which song has an exciting studio time story. Like, which of the songs on this album has one, like, the story that you feel like, oh, on that oh. day when we, made, when we made this song? It might seem like it's a diplomatic question. Mm-hmm. I mean, answer, rather. Okay. But it's not. Mm-hmm. If I were me in the studio, when you spend time with me in the studio, you know that all my studio time is fun time. Even fun my time. rehearsals. It's always fun. Because different things happen. Okay. Okay, let me start with the first track, Lavish. Mm-hmm. We were at um, Magic Sticks Studio. Yeah. And he played a couple of beats. And then when he played this one, I just dropped it straight. Bam, 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 bam. So there are some of the songs that would take time for the inspiration to come, and some will just come like that. But when I'm in the studio recording, nobody must make noise because I have to focus. If you mm. make noise in my studio, I'm sending you out. So you always have, you hardly have a lot of people in your studio. No, no, no. Not that somebody you say, ah, yes, so you don't drop that banger. Uh, uh-uh. uh, <laughs> don't drop my banger. It's going. No, it's going. Ah, it's going. Go- no, it's going. Fire, there. fire, fire. <laughs> this is the one. This is the one. Uh, every, everything <laughs> is the one. You not deceive me. <laughs> no. So, so in in terms of deciding <laughs> on which songs uh-huh. out of the bunch of music you mm-hmm. make are the ones that you think, oh, these ones need to go out right now. Okay. Who makes those decisions? Because I know you're independent, so I don't know. Do you have, like, are you your A&R, or is it, like... Okay, so um, I work with Michael. Michael is my manager slash business partner. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also my A&R. Okay. Okay, Michael, do all. Yes, he's doing everything. (laughs) Trust (laughs) me. (laughs) Trust me, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, right from the studio, from when I'm dropping the vibe, Mm -hmm. we know... If that, uh, it is going to the next stage, uh-huh. that's finishing the song, finishing or the song. we are ditching we're it. it. Yeah, okay. because we, we can't be wasting money on beats. Yeah. We're recording songs that we're not going to use, and we're buying beats. No, 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 no. Then we're buying beats. So, like, so now you mentioned that when you are in the studio mm-hmm. and you're recording music, mm-hmm. and um, two questions. So you said, of course, Michael works with you, and he's yeah, in the yeah, sure, with sure, you, sure, sure. And he knows the song that would go. Mm-hmm. Artists usually like to have people be like fantastic oh my god this is my yes blue. men yes men mm-hmm. artists i feel like sometimes they just need it to feed into their ego and to just like, make them feel like i'm not that kind of person mm. no you no. don't need it no, i don't do no way <laughs> hey, so, i'm deceiving myself if so, i do that do of you... which some people depending on the kind of person their personality mm-hmm. and the kind of music that they do they mm-hmm. might need all that you know ginger yeah. ginger so to say so have in you ever studio, been in But me, somewhere. I need to focus and just drop Is there any the right song melodies. you wanted on this album that you wanted and then Michael's like, no? Okay, no. so it's not, it's not, it's not, Michael's not my father. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, it's a joint, um, yeah. it's joint work. No, I'm saying maybe, he, obviously he won't just say no because no. So, so the I'm thing sure about, like, maybe like, 
a valuable reason why he feels like, oh, this particular song, I just think, you know, this shouldn't make the album. I know you love it. Was there any song like that? Uh, so most of the time, we're kind of like on the same page because we ah. know what we're going for okay. most of the time. Mm -hmm. That's why I said, from the time I'm vibing, mm -hmm. right? If it's not going to make it, we know it is not making it. Let's not deceive ourselves. That's here. why I said, because if you take the beat and you're paying yeah. for that beat and you're not using it, you're wasting that money. Yeah. You're thinking of the money, everything. Mm -hmm. And time and energy. Because sometimes there are some songs that if you spend too much time on that particular song, it can wear you out, tire yeah. you, and make you feel terrible. Yeah. So instead, just, just leave it and just carry your bad luck and just go to, go to your village with that. Yeah. <laughs> It's very emotional. Yes, it yeah. is. Actually, it does sound like it is. As, so now, you've, when we asked you like what you okay. do for fun, a lot of times, and the things you made reference to, you made reference to being on your phone, playing games. Yes, I'm very much to myself. Yeah. And you're like Watching always TV. doing stuff by yourself on your phone. Mm -hmm. How how do you filter out the noise that comes with being on your phone? Let me explain that okay. now. So, um, Larry was having a conversation with you know Wally Shoyinka, and he spoke about how he does not tries to keep in touch with everything. Like, he doesn't want to know everything that is going on mm -hmm. because for your own peace of mind and for your own relaxation. Okay. But as someone who's on your phone, I'm sure your social media apps are on your phone. How do you... Do you bother about what is trending? Do you stay away from the noise? What app do you stay away from the most that stresses you out? What app do you use the most? Okay, so if I have to be on Instagram, maybe posting stuff, replying comments and stuff, I'll do that. If I have no business there, I'm out. Trust me, I'm out. When I'm playing my game, and some of these games, you have timed games. <laughs> I love like, it so much. She's very particular about her games. Yes, and maybe, <laughs> the, when, maybe they give you like 20 seconds of free gems. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, yeah, I need to get this. Don't just this. Nobody should stop me. <laughs> and really, sometimes you just have to zone out and just be on your own. So you don't get sucked up in this world that is yeah. not real because yeah. social media is not real yeah. hmm. i do it because of work hmm. okay. if not i don't know <laughs> you probably don't have an account maybe maybe not but really there are you know very interesting yeah. things to see online mm -hmm. some people make me laugh you know and stuff well to be fair i don't i think that interestingly your come up was a little less lenient on the digital world, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. like the times when you really did come out into the music. No, no, just kept, yeah, it yeah. wasn't really it wasn't, heavy on that. It wasn't mm -mm, very heavy mm -mm. on that. It's now that I think that when you come out and I just like, oh, what's happening on your Instagram? What, what are you posting on TikTok? But I don't think that... Yeah. I think but that... But even, even, even though, that's why I said, mm -hmm. even when I'm posting online, mm -hmm. I post, I'm not dying day. Yeah. Because really, I still have work to do. I still have to be in the studio. I still have to do so I'll do whatever I have to do. Do it and go back. I will not die there. I'm not. <laughs> Please. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's like, let me not say that. <laughs> let me not say that. But really, yeah, that's it. What that do is... you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what it. What do you splurge on the most? Like, I saw someone talk about how like he bought in the news. There was some guy that was racing. Over 400 million naira car, whatever, and hmm. you know, he got into an accident and the car went into flames and they had an hmm. accident and they were trying to and get And he him. was he asking, did he didn't die. Then he now said, Oh my God, Nini, you too. <laughs> 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 you too. Do you know that this is literally what everybody kept saying? Was that, no, that's the guy does. Now let's know if I say, Yeah, or ah, uh, sorry. So now the thing is, he's now in debt worth over 400 million. But naira. he's still alive, Abby. Yeah. So would you have preferred if he were dead? So that's what people were saying. People were saying, 400 million naira debt, you might as well. No. No. I'm not, I'm not joking. That's what we were saying on social media. So I should die because of what? I'm not even Did joking. Did he kill somebody? This is not even me. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yes. So people are like, if it were me, it's better. Like, what do you mean donate 400 million? Even like, people are saying even the president might not be able to give you that money right now. <laughs> when Nigeria is right now. Uh, he drove the car, B. No, he wasn't driving. I think he was in the passenger seat, but his oh. friend was driving. And so wait, they rented the car. Car. Wait, he didn't even drive the car, he didn't destroy the car himself. He was in the passenger seat. Oh my lady, but wait. People make mistakes. <laughs> and he was not like, we should donate. Like, ah, 
<laughs> you rent 400 million car for those. I like the guy, Sha. You see, yeah. the guy. Sometimes you just wanna, you, you, wanna, know, you just wanna try to know what it's like. <laughs> they say. <laughs> but what you spend you money on that, but... as, as an artist, since you started making money, what's that one thing that you feel like you've splurged on? It's it's still the music, whether I like it or not. Cause oh, true, because the beats she's, that the beats the beats I use are expensive. Mm -hmm. I use premium beats. I work with the best producers. Um, my mixing and mastering. If you hear my production, it's top notch. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So that is it. She's I do you know she's it's all about the music for me, yeah. Do you think you're a workaholic? Do I think? Do you work? Yeah, but. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. No, Bonini, do you think you are a workaholic? Me. Yes. What else can I do? I have to eat some, huh? Abby. Well, to be fair. But so it's crazy that I think it just done it dawns on me every time that she's actually independent. I'm so sorry. I am. So I have because to do like, like she, times one million of them. Happy like by herself yeah, no so it doesn't look like it's by herself in the grand scheme of things if that makes any sense she does still find a way to act to be i don't i don't want to, i don't want to say act like to be the artist but yeah. it's so crazy that you are so much in your business a Actually, lot of the artists that are able to be the artist have, have to most been. times be detached from the business side why, of things why? largely mostly no, because they're so. always no I'm, mostly because they're mostly always signed yeah, the ones that are yeah. No, so like, not, but it's so, not that business. So that's what I'm saying. You are a full-on artist. Like you're performing, you're singing. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Most artists that are, they are, I don't think I can count on this level that yeah, you are in. Yeah, that are that doing solo dolo. So like, and are doing the full thing Spectrum. and are fully involved in their business. Okay, so I just feel like I kind of think like it's a superpower to be honest because so, like I. I, yeah, because <laughs> you're making your money, you're paying for your beats. A lot of these people are, like, don't even know how much the, the, the yeah. beats. Yeah! So if you say that, if you put it that way, that they don't know, so they don't know. But when yeah. you know, and when it is your sweat, and you know you have to make that money back, what will you do? You, you take my every stress. Exactly. You do everything in your power to make it back. Yeah. yeah. But is that intention now for you to be 10 years in the game <laughs> and still... Wait now. I'm wait. waiting. <laughs> land. Yeah. <Ten years. laughs> You need like finish up. Let me answer. Uh, you. Like I have to know exactly where you're going with that. <laughs> She's like, when you land, I will tell you. Yeah, but is it intentional for you? Mm -hmm. Let me be done with this question. Don't it's worry, no, no, no. Ten years, mm -hmm. still like, cause I've asked you so many things that you still are aware of. Like you know the beats, you go with the the beat selection yourself. Your yeah, hands on with that. I write my music myself. Everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Choreograph yourself and teach your dancers. Mm -hmm. Do the business by yourself. With Michael, of with course. With Michael, of mm -hmm. course, definitely. But just like both of you being the core of mm -hmm. the team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that intentional to begin to still be doing that? Are you not, have you, don't you want to begin to take your hands off and build, maybe get signed to a label, have different people? Do you do your social media yourself? Do you have a social media handler? No. Myself. So is that intentional? To do all of these things by yourself and not like let a company. Okay, step in. so what what company are you? Are you open minded? Are you it? talking about a record label or, or what? Distro yeah. record yeah. label, not even like management okay. deal. Um, all okay, of those so, things, just so that you, you take a step back. So and different deals come every now and again, but I'm very careful hmm. so that I don't regret it, so, and I learn from people's experiences too. So is it that you haven't gotten a deal that has made you feel like okay, so, I could hang my boots? So now. there's some deals I've signed, like some publishing deals, some mm. distro mm. deals mm. here mm. and there that mm. I don't, you know, yeah. shout yeah, because yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but you know. Besides, you know, maybe distro or um, Pub. publishing. Yeah. If you're talking about a record label, record yeah, label. it has to be worth it because the moment I own all my masters, mm -hmm. and the thing about owning your masters is, excuse me, in 20 years anybody can ask to use any of the songs, mm -hmm. and then you know I still have rights to mm -hmm. to it. But if I'm signing to a label right now, mm -hmm. like, and I have to give up all that that I've worked for, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, hope you will not sign me, you, you know, give me the sign-up fee. After maybe one year or two years, you shelf me. Mm -hmm. What happens mm -hmm. to me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are different clauses, you know, in the 
contract. You just have to be careful. Yeah. A lot of people are in trouble right now. Yeah. Hmm. So for you, it's more of a, if you see something that works. If you... I see something that works, fine. Yeah, okay. But in the meantime, I won't rush. No, yes. I've stayed 10 years. Why yeah, should yeah, I, you know, you? Right, jump right. into fire now? I feel, like, I feel like that makes a lot of sense. Because if sense. you've been doing this this long, it's like how they say that. It's like how they say that when someone has been single for like 10, 20 years, or you have done so much long by yourself as a single person, when to get into a relationship, you'll be like, why that? Like, why do ha, I? I forget to. You need it. <laughs> I forget that with his relationship. Ah, that's it. <laughs> See, that's why you say, ah. Well, this auntie was telling us, I mean, she's a feminist, she's a this, she's a that. When did she get married? Sit down there. <laughs> 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 Nini, I'm actually Auntie don't gawk it. <laughs> Nini, like, no, She's like, no, no, no. Mm -mm. no that's not that's like, different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nini, man, I'm man, Nini, like, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. Nah. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> but I hear you. I understand mm -hmm. what you're saying. But I, I, I respect you doing all of this by yourself all this mm -hmm. while. And just like doing it on your own. And mm. like you said, if you've been doing this for like 10 years, for someone to come and impress you with the deal, it definitely is it has going to be to worth it. Yeah, it yeah. has to be. be yeah, it has to be. I agree with you 100% on that, that one. Makes sense. Now, for the album, why press play? Press play because, first of all, look at the economy. <laughs> Not just Nigerian economy, hmm. the Nigerian economy, even the world eco economy. Hmm. Everything is going down, down south. Yep. And I've said it from the beginning that I will just make you sing and dance and forget yeah. your sorrow. So on, on this project, I'm like, when you press play, you can't skip. Yeah. You're going to enjoy it all, all through, through to, the to the end. And then you'll be like, oh, Nini, thank you for sharing this with me. Mm. Yeah. And on the, the body of work, I, I, I feel like you have some interesting collaboration when it comes to artists. Mm -hmm. And I want to like delve into why you chose to work with those people. Okay, sure. Akim Adisa mm -hmm. and also Kalo. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, mm -hmm. I didn't see those collaborations coming. Okay. Why them? Um, okay, so when I do music, I don't think of, oh, who's popping now? Mm -hmm. I think of, oh, who is the right person to be on this record? And if I reach out to that person and if the person wants to do it, fine. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. I'll move on. Yeah. But Akim Adisa is my sound engineer. Mm. Yeah. We've been working for years. He knows me in and out. Like that guy has my book. <laughs> he knows my melodies like in and out. Yeah. He knows everything. Like sometimes he'll be like, I want that Nini. Nini. <laughs> That's what he'll say. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate him so much because I met him at Sazi's studio. Hmm. So, he recorded um, Ibadi. He was a studio engineer in the uh. yeah at the time. Hmm. And I, when I when I wanted to record, I'm like, oh, how do I go about this thing? And he's like, you know what, just do you. And I did me, and I loved it. Yeah. And he understands me so much. And I always write my music myself. So when he brought this one, it was like ah, that he had already done his pato, but I will love this song, Sha. And when I listened to it, I'm like, oh, why I. I like it. I was surprised. I was like, ah, you do it? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. And we did the song together. And we loved it. And we put it out. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's so that's awesome. Actually, and you and he's super, and super, he's album. super, super, super um, talented. Oh. A yes, sound yeah. en engineer, producer, a singer, a songwriter, everything. Kudos to him. What about Carlo? Oh, Carlo, my darling. Um, I met Carlo in New York. Mm. And... Um, we did some songs together. Then when it was time for my album, I'm like, Kalu, I need you on this song, Mr. DJ. And, you know, we did a song together and loved it. So you mentioned, like, when you want to do any music, mm -hmm. you speak to the person and be like, oh, I want to work with you. Mm -hmm. And if the person is forthcoming, you would do it. Sure. And if you say no, am I going to drag you? No. But I don't think you would text anybody and be like... Hi. Okay, so and they will say no. Okay, <laughs> yeah, right. So now, um, wow, this is also something that helped me. And I'm, I see, you see, you see, when people say no to you, be grateful. Hmm. You know why? If you have everything on the platter of gold, you can never grow. Yeah. But when people say no to you, what do you do? Do you stop in your tracks, or you're like, I'm gonna find a way to do this thing on my own? 
me, I will find a way to do it on my own. So coming up, you know, there are a lot of people are asking, you know, ah, oh, please can you, you know, drop a verse for me or this? Or post me or they won't even answer. And then I realized, oh, you got to do it yourself. Mm. Right? Mm. Now, when you know you have to do it yourself, you know all the lamba, all the everything, the beat, everything has to be on point. So you train yourself that there's nobody coming to help, so you got to do it yourself. Yeah. And that way you build yourself, you're self-reliant. Because there was a time where people thought, oh, if you don't feature anybody, yep. you can't be... It's a lie. Lumber. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Lumber. If I call on you and you say, no, no hard feelings. No hard feelings, though. But just know, you cannot come here. <laughs> do me, I do you. Go no, go no, go <laughs> <laughs> no, so but to be honest... My, one of my favorites on the album is actually the record with Phil's. Formula. But the formula. Man. I really like that song. So did you guys make the song together in the studio at the same time? Like, were you guys present in the studio together when you made the record? Okay, so, um, hmm, I reached out to Fields. I'm like, oh, Fields, I love your work. Mm -hmm. Mm. Let's, you know, do something together. Mm -hmm. And so at the time, I had my camp. Every now and again, I do, like, my music camp away from my own studio, maybe in an apartment or okay. something. Mm -hmm. And so he came to meet me there. I played a couple of beats and stuff. And then he played this one. He had, yeah, a few vocals on it. But when I heard this one, I was like, ah, this is the one. No. Tap me this. in. And I was like, ah, God, he's keeping it for me. I said, you, you want that? He's keeping it. <laughs> oh, he wanted to keep it for himself. <laughs> oh, I'm best, like, no. <laughs> ah, this is the one. Yeah. That was last year. We oh. finished the song this year. Finished the song in his studio. Okay. Yeah, and then I did a song for him as well, um, Fever. He put that on, on his him. EP. Yeah. yeah. So and then nice. shot the video. The video, uh, the video shoot was interesting. Oh, <laughs> you guys had a lot of fun. Yeah, we did. <laughs> when you said the music video shooting was interesting, what are you referring to? Did something like, something happen that is very eventful like during the video show? Okay, so if you're with me, mm -hmm. whether it's a performance, a video shoot, a studio time, yeah. trust me, you have fun because yeah, I'm always time. banting, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. playing and stuff. But on that set, there were, there were a lot of ladies on the set. Mm -hmm. Beautiful ladies. Love it. Them. Love it. And <laughs> a lot of shaking and all of that. Mm. So we had fun. Mm. <laughs> that that would have been for me. fun for Phil's. <laughs> well, I'm feels like, wow, this. Fantastic. I, I <laughs> Not just for it. feels, for everyone. But how do you now, as someone who is very particular about her sound, like mm -hmm. you've been doing this for mm -hmm. a while, do you sometimes feel the need to say, you know what, maybe I sh Do you sometimes want to try something else? Do you sometimes want to try something? Do you feel like, because now, a lot of artists want to... African artists want to appeal to like international audience. They want, you know, that recognition, that support in the international space. Mm -hmm. Do you sometimes feel like for you to get all of that popularity internationally, first and foremost, are you pressured to be to get all that popularity um, internationally? Do you sometimes feel like you have to maybe adopt some of their own sound into what you're doing? Okay, so my <laughs> say fans. Or audience, your fans are not it's just fine. Nigerians yes. or Africans. Mm -hmm. You have yeah. people from different continents, mm -hmm. white, black, everybody. I don't have to change for anyone because mm -hmm. you see them singing in my own language. They don't really understand what I'm singing, what but they saying? love it because music is a universal language. Yep. Mm -hmm. If I if I ever felt pressured, I'm sure I would have changed. There yeah. would have been a detour. Yeah. But no way. Instead, what I'll do is. Um, if I just want to show another side of me, what I'll do is I'll do that on my album. If you listen to my albums, that's when I experiment. Mm -hmm. That's when I remember people like her. Mm -hmm. That, oh, you want your R&B. Or you want your folk music. Mm -hmm. Or you want, um, for instance, um, there's a song, Energy, mm -hmm. on the album. Mm -hmm. That is not Niniola. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it's more, it reminds me of like kind of like the Timaya kind of thing. Yes, so yes. I always explore on my album. It's just that when it comes to like lead singles, I don't joke with lead singles mm -hmm. because I have to. Mama's chop. 
That's right. Is the is the I don't joke with these singles for me, but I hear you. I yeah yeah. I, so if you want to see a different side of Ninella, just check out the album. Check out the album. Yeah. And pick, there's something there for you. Yeah, of press course. Play. Press yes, play. Press play. Literally, literally yeah. press play. You're very particular about the adopted child education mm -hmm. um, foundation that you yes. run. Was there anything particular that happened to you that made you feel like that's something you needed to do? Okay, my father, God bless his soul, um, was a philanthropist and an educationist. And he believed in teaching people how to fish rather than just hand them fish so that, you know, they can have a sustainable life. So he gave them scholarships and stuff like that. So I just wanted to step into his shoes. And then I set up the foundation and that way I started helping children because I believe that little drops of water make a mighty ocean if you That's help right. you help you help right. you know we can help the community that way so I started giving out scholarships I give out books help to renovate the schools mm. and you know do whatever it is that I can through that foundation mm. to help children in my community where I grew up yeah how has that been for you, like, so far? And what was, the, how has that been for you, like, doing that, seeing these children grow, or just being... Oh, it feels, it feels so good. Um, um, it feels really, really good when you see less privileged children doing, you know, intelligent children, and what's mm. stopping them from reaching greater heights is just what? Funding. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, one of the kids that um, I gave scholarship ended up being, you know, the head boy. Of, mm. Excuse me. Because I make every time... Okay, for his set, when I did the exam, I made sure I invigilated myself because I didn't want any Ojuru. Mm -hmm. Wait, you, 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 you are the invigilator of the exam that you write for the kids? I don't write it for Sorry, them. Sorry, that, <laughs> that, that you sponsor the kids for? Yes, like, yes. Ooh. To make sure that no one is cheated. So that it goes to so the person that is deserving. Because I don't want no headache yeah. at the end of the day. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Come on, that's, some, that's, a, that's a lot of work. You're, you're really giving hands-on. That's very hands-on. Yeah, hands -on. you're giving hands-on. Yes, I'm a, a hands-on person. I feel like you're... I'm a hands-on person. Because imagine if, okay, you just leave it to people and somebody has somebody somewhere hmm. that they want to help. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the right person doesn't, doesn't get it. And also, it's even beyond that because, of course, you're a superstar. You can people. Some people might feel like because I'm a superstar, I don't want to be around there. I don't want people to see me here. So let me just give it to somebody else to handle. But and but if 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 that's what that person wants, the, the fact that the person is still helping is makes still something make sense. good. Yes. So, but it just depends on it's how you want to run it. Yes, and how you want it. Yes. You might just want to take it a step further. Yeah. But regardless, whether you want to be involved greatly involved or not, or not, the fact that you're even helping is commendable. I agree 100%. Yeah. I agree 100%. Okay, guys, we're about to go on a break, but don't forget right. that everything... When I say go on a break, don't worry. You guys are just like, no, 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 we're not off. We're not off. We're still I here. know, I know. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> we're about to go on a break, and everything that we're discussing, of course, whatever I said that you missed on the, during the break, you can catch it. The full thing on the podcast when it drops on Monday, the full episode drops on Monday, and you can catch it, but we'll be back on TV in a couple of minutes. <laughs> But Niniola is still here. I don't know if Nini is going to here? dance for us. Before. I'm still here. Yes, she's still here. Radio Chef is also here. Yeah. There's no food, nothing. Nini, but I wanted to give you drinks. I Nini. said food, food, food. Food. Nini, do you really want food? But that, no yeah. food. <laughs> <laughs> What's what your favorite food? Unkong pano. I'm not saying pano. Unkong pano, she was. She was better food. Like what? Like a mala. Like a mala. I ate a mala already. I think yeah, online, yeah, I'm this She's like, I'm not. What's what the favorite food? Right now, I don't have any anymore. So sad. Why? Don't have a favorite food anymore. Not anymore. anymore. Uh, yeah, I think I think I'm getting to that part. <laughs> <soon anymore. laughs> Actually, it dawned on me. I used to think that I was a pasta lover. That oh my best. Oh, I was there one time too. Yeah, <laughs> but no, I found myself in a place where I'd be like, when last did I eat? Pasta. I'm like, if, uh -huh. I, if it really was my favorite food, I should be, I should be right eating now, it a lot more. But then these days, I'll not find myself making beans. I'm like, you do it. You know what? Beans so beans. much. Yes. That's what I know. 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 That's what I know.
say that to me. <laughs> well, I feel like I was eating beans. I'm like, hey. Well, you know you how when you were beans. little, you didn't like beans? I was one of those kids. Uh, I was always I, like, I'm We bang. did not, trust me. Kids I don't like that. I love by myself like, on no. beans. Or, or even vegetable. Like, uh, no, so I, like, nah, I don't want this. Actually, but now I love him. That's all this. I will not say, I will not say I will eat okra. Why? Uh, I know. What was it? Why? What was it? Macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> like, in this, I think it's actually old age. It's old age. But funnily, I have always liked okra. Eh, kids mm. like okra. They prefer okra no, to I vegetable was, now. I didn't like okra. What's your dish? best soup? My best soup? That's what I'm saying. That right now, I don't know. Because, you know, when you start this diet thing, you have to throw away your favorite food. Mm. I keep dieting there. Yes, 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 every now and again. And sometimes you slap. I feel like everybody should, I guess. Diet? Yeah, sometimes you just be like, no, I'm on a diet. No, <laughs> I'm not eating. I mean, I, 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 I'd be like, just one spoon. I can't yeah, eat, like, I, I can't. You can't what? You can't eat. You can't eat. You should be like, I'm never dieting. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm never. I think well, I'm. For now, I think I'm coming into. I even think I'm coming into that age where I'm even telling myself that why are you not dieting like normal <laughs> <laughs> uh, Because I feel like we should do this. I things. agree. But like, is maybe I'm just a little too forgetful to be messy <laughs> because in this moment my hormones are making me crave a lot rice of and stew. You know that I should not eat white rice. <laughs> ha. No, but Call the police. <laughs> to be honest, I totally understand. Like right I, relate, I, I relate to the conversation about like wanting to diet and slacking like Nino last time. Because mm-hmm. even me right now, I, I woke up and eh, I'm eh, eh, Don't talk about diet. Beg, beg, you beg, are beg. talking. You are talking. Oh, no, but, but uh-uh. in the grand scheme of things. No, it's true now. But in the grand scheme of things. Nini, but, but I'm dieting. Is is about but I'm dieting. Eh? Nini. Not sure about, those not I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's about my size. Are you okay? Oh, what? We're trying to eat anything. You're lucky now. I'm trying what to lose weight. weight. Lose, lose which weight? Stand you up. You have to have something for you lose it. Are you okay? Stand up, no? Why do you want Where's to this? lose my sister? Where's the weight? Eh? See? Okay. What? What? Are you like for real now? What do you want to We're lose? We're waiting for you to show us. My weight. Where is it come? Where is it? Come. <laughs> You can only give what Dina you have. <laughs> wow. Wow, I, f- I feel... See, I'm perfect this it's way. Don't lose any more. Don't uh, lose weight. Yeah. Okay, Nini, it's fine. It's fine. So... <laughs> but I mean, if you insist... Uh, whatever. Uh, you are, you no, don't insist. No, 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 she insists. <laughs> no, that is very sarcastic. The if you insist, it's very, very sarcastic. No, no, you are perfect this way. Trust me. Okay, Nini, I'm thinking. No, no, but so you Nini, are like you giving me this wig when you're leaving? <laughs> you like it? I saw it on Instagram. I like... I saw... <laughs> I saw... When she talked about I was making a video, I was like... Nini's wigs are always fly, but I you know. I I just got it. So it's not no. even up to a month. But you oh, know that your no, wigs no. are always fly. You mm-hmm. always have like colorful wigs. Even when she shows up for work, interviews. It's for work so now. after after music, what's the next thing you spend your money on? It's music. After music, is it only okay? This wig now. What do you? What is do you have to buy? Is it not because of work? Like your hair Ow! Wow! But wait, but I, see, I, I think that I think that Nini is. I think Nini is. I think Nini is lying to us. But what? Ah! Back, we're back. You're telling your auntie that she's lying. Ah. <laughs> I think you need lines, but I'm going to ask Michael. But please, no. guys, we are <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We are back. We're back live on the Pop Central channel 189. Zero conditions is still happening. Nini's in the hey. building. We've been having a lot of you know nice conversation. And I just said that I think Nini is lying that when she said that all she spends her money on is like music. Michael, is that true? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Because you know what? Mm-hmm. Do you see me hanging out? Okay, so you want to say that the no, reason you why you look good is only because of the music. It's because of work now. Do you wear wigs in your house? But I, I would actually... Answer me now. No, no. Exactly. It's not because you're but going out there. But doesn't mean that it's only music-related places that you go to now. Where do you see me? Actually, don't see her anymore. Exactly. Think, see, if not for the music, I'll just I carry my cholesterol back. Actually, I actually don't see her anywhere. But I, I would think that you are a so very fashionable person. I think away you from the music, the, you give that fashionable give vibe. Fashionable hey, vibe. Should I come looking like Mumuni? <laughs> should I be a scrap? And <laughs> <laughs> by me. So if you wanted to branch out into something, well, another industry that is not music, outside of music, just for the fun of it, what industry interests you? 
Mm. Maybe education. Hmm. hmm. I love kids. Oh, so much. I prefer hanging out with kids. To wow. Out She's with like. Adults. You are not pure here. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I, 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 just wanna, I just wanna I just wanna I love kids. kids. Yeah. Mm. So maybe you'd wanna like I'm, I mean fashion, school. yes, but now you see with this dollar rate and the rest of them yeah. when you walk around. Mm. So yeah. maybe own a school. What? Would you own a school type thing? Uh if I In if I wasn't way? doing music, well, I'll be I'll be working with kids. In mm. any way possible. Maybe entertainment or even school or whatever, but I'll be with kids. I love kids. They're so innocent and just want to have fun. Uh, yeah. But, but, but when the kids, do you sometimes think about, like, I feel like peop- kids are adorable when they are kids, like you said, like when they are babies. And I feel like the older they grow, they start, I don't know. I feel like don't you be- want them to grow? You're to kid then. <laughs> I, I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like me, 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 you make for a very good. That's auntie that <laughs> the coolest auntie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because she would be able to discipline you at the same time love you. So oh like, yeah. yeah. Of so, course oh, that so, balance. So if anybody you're gonna have discipline. Like my you. sister's kids, <laughs> though, I love them so much and they love me. Are and you they fun know, auntie? Oh yes, I am. Oh. And but they know they can't mess with me too. Are you fun auntie? But I'm still the fun auntie. Yeah. yeah. Perfect mix. Is. <laughs> Actually, it makes sense because a lot of times, I, I think that when when we become adult like like nini said like she loves being around kids there are certain adults that are just so good with kids oh yeah and the children just gravitate Potato, towards yes, them yes. naturally so you know much. what to say to them mm. you know how to oh do you want something oh you know okay let's buy this let's eat this i oh, yeah. know people, and and people, like, hey, i'm gonna feel special when kids like them i know how it for some reason if i go to a place and there are kids and then the kids just like me i don't have to do too much i actually always feel special uh, i don't know what it means I don't know how they do it. You're just like, ah, yeah, you like me. That's yeah. what I'm like. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so uh, that means that you've ended up being a cool auntie. Yeah. Because when you were young, you were abusing the not so cool not ones. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's very fair. Uh, that is wicked. I like, ah. I like, you have to be a cool auntie for yes, you to have yes. attention. True, Actually, true. in the first yeah. place. But, but, but for you, Nini, as a person, <laughs> being like here in this industry, mm-hmm. what is your least favorite thing about this space? The least? That you That's feel like it. you didn't have to, if you didn't have to interface with, you won't, you, if it's not for the music, you won't have to deal with it. Deal with, like what? Like what's your least favorite part of it, the entire system? Because in life, even if you run to anywhere, there'll be something you don't like about hmm. that mm-hmm. environment because you're not in control of everything. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this mm-hmm. is supposed to happen this way. Nothing will happen that way. Mm-hmm. You just have to. There will always be challenges. I don't want my challenges on my shoulder. No. If yeah. not, you can't get by. Hmm. So it will happen. Oh, you're giving me a headache. I scale through. I move. If not, trust me, you can't move. Yeah. Or you want to blame it on. Oh, it's because I'm a woman. Hey, <laughs> You will not go anywhere. Or you want to blame it on. Oh, is it because I don't have money? Oh, is it because... You just have to make it yeah. work with what the resources available to you. Got to keep it moving. It happens. Sometimes the funds are not enough. Mm-hmm. You'd be like, oh, if I had more, I know I'll be able to do more. But with the little you have, what are you doing? Are you doing? Do you get what I mean? You know how some people are be like, ah, that person has this. Or you're comparing yourself to someone else and you're watching the person's growth mm-hmm. instead of you appreciating yours before you know it your life will slide by you are not celebrating your milestones and you end up a sad old man or woman at the end of the day yeah. so that person has his own struggles that you know nothing about mm-hmm. so work on yourself and keep moving and make sure that you're moving yeah. and you're not stagnant that's it word yeah deep <laughs> okay, I, Nini, mm-hmm. that that makes a lot of sense. But I feel like sometimes I hear you, mm-hmm. and I really understand what you're saying about like not comparing yourself and just moving and just doing your own thing. Mm-hmm. But don't you, now we have a lot of like young people. Like mm-hmm. sometimes when we go on social media, people are having conversations mm-hmm. like, "Oh my God, adulting is tiring. Mm-hmm. You know, adulting is hard. The economy is not working." I I feel like I don't know about. Well, 
like our parents' time and all of that, people would be like, oh, but the money had more value. Mm -hmm. it's just, it's, it felt like it, the system was working more mm -hmm. then than mm -hmm. we have now mm -hmm. as young adults. Mm -hmm. Don't you, do, don't you know sometimes feel like I don't, I don't want to be an adult? Uh, uh, like I miss being a child. It's, it's a too <sighs> wait thing. Um, yes, you miss the financial part when you not miss but you just reminisce mm -hmm. on being a kid and not having, not to, having to pay bills <laughs> yeah think of any responsibilities mm -hmm. but if you don't want to be an adult it means you want to die and come in the afterlife as a child again no mm -hmm. You can't keep soaking. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe for the sake of conversations or bands, you can say, oh, I miss being a child, I miss being a... But you have to work hard. It's still the same thing. If you keep complaining, how are you going to eat? How are you going to get better? Yes, you talk about your, the hardships, the challenges, but you need to find your way. Because trust me, in this economy, there are people balling. Share, you know, Sha. So do you just want to see that job in... Hmm, hmm. Have you want to join or be on your way to join the bolas? <laughs> Food for thought. Is, is, it, is it be on the way to be? You just say, like, I get you. I, no, it's true. Big I, fact. It's big fact, actually. Do you big want to fact. sit down and whine or do you exactly. want to be up to something? Yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> exactly. Because, yeah, see, yeah, time is waiting for nobody. Else. Yeah. This time last year, you were what? Uh, One year younger. <sighs> I do hear you. Yeah. Okay. As someone who was like, you talked about linking up Ikalo in New York and mm -hmm. recording. You have literally traveled to different parts of the world based on music, based on Miniola and all of that. A lot of Nigerians, young people are trying to jackpot and go to like other countries okay. and be like, I want to leave Nigeria. I want mm -hmm. to go like live in Canada. I want okay. to go to America. It's going to be a better life for me. But you have experienced these places in different mm -hmm. situations. What do you think about that Jackpot culture and people and young people genuinely feeling like it's better out there? Okay, so first of all, when people say, oh, they want to Jackpot, it's because they're looking for greener pastures. Yep. Everybody wants a better life, not just for themselves, but for the unborn children or yep. people that have kids already. Yeah. So I can't speak for them. Because there's some people that live abroad and they're doing well. And it's, there's some that are struggling. Yep. So it depends on you. Are, are you ready to walk? Because if you want to jackpot, there's no uncle that you just say, Uncle, please, I need something. Or oh, I have not eaten today. Let me cut you out. There's nobody there. They will not answer you. So are you ready to yeah. walk? You have to be ready to walk. Do the work and earn a living. It's like, I do hear ah. you. I, I, I understand you. Mm -hmm. But you know that holistically looking at it, mm -hmm. you. It just feels like sometimes being in Nigeria as a young person and you're hearing about all these other things that people are doing outside of Nigeria. Things like what? You know, access to better life, like healthcare, mm -hmm. a working like a working system, mm -hmm. you know, education, better quality of education, just a government that works. Mm -hmm. You might just feel like as a young person just living in Nigeria, is it going to get better? It's not going to get better. Mm -hmm. It's not going to get better. It's not. It's not better for me to just clock into a system that I'm sure that even if I can't give myself all of these things, the government can provide a better life. Okay, me. so that's what I. That's what I just talked about. That it depends. That some people the jackpot works out for them, yeah. and some people it doesn't work out for them. But it's based off of what you want for yourself. Can you do the work? Now you're hearing about oh, better life, better life. Do you know what some people are doing? Some people are cleaning yash. Can you do it? Some people are mm -hmm. washing dishes. Can you do, do it? Do you have a plan? Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Are you going there to school? Do you have the money to pay for your school fees? If you don't, do you want to work yeah. to, you know, to be able to pay your tuition? Or but you can you do the menial jobs? People are not really talking about that. So that's what I'm saying that yeah. don't just think that the grass is greener on the other side. You have to work times 10 of what you are doing here. That's, that's just what I'm saying. I, I get you. I guess you 100 percent So yes, yeah, so even though yes, we want the government to do more, even we the people can do more. Let's be sincere. Yeah. Let's l love ourselves. Okay, you own a, a filling station and you are ripping us off. Is is that the government? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So yeah. That's on par because it's like 
Do you understand? I, 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 I literally hear Nini when she says that because sometimes when we are focusing on the government and saying the government is not doing this, is not doing that, even us as people, when we get small power or when ah, we get... to shock... Hey. You'll be the first to increase your petrol... The you fuel price. You'll be the ones to be selling you empty. some securities and some estate gates. You'll be like, ah, 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 if they made you president. Ah. Like, exactly. <laughs> you see those ones? Some you be like, wow, ah. you're just here just guarding this little estate and see the way you're treating me. But I hear you. I genuinely think that generally... Let's just be better people. We all have to be better people. Yeah. yeah. Who has been the most exciting person for you to work with on this album? I know you see everybody. Uh, at different points, yes. Um, first of all, the legend Oskido. I will always work with him. Um, I feel blessed and favored Aww. to be able to pick up my phone every time and talk to him and be yeah. like, hey, because he knows music. Yes, he, he does. He's good, dope music. So, yeah, he will send you, like, how many do you want? How many beats? He'll, he'll send you know, beats to me and be like, okay, pick. Okay, I'm having this one. You take this one. Um, mm. Sometimes I'll be like, that one that is for you, I'm taking it to. I don't believe it's more. And also, okay, I talked about Fields, talked about um, Kahlo. Kahlo and Akeem. Yeah, that's about it. But so I also know that. So the. Okay. I was going to ask about Smangori. Yes, Smangori, yes. So how did you guys. Chilete. Okay, that's a very interesting one. Um, too sweet. I'm on here, do I'm on here, sweet. Mm -hmm. So I shot the video in South Africa. He was a dancer. In that video, trust me. No way. Yeah, he came with his dancers, and now we're doing music together. So, How, like that's actually amazing. Mm -hmm. Like you, you work with, like you feature people that work with you. Yes, on your sure, album. sure. If you're talented, why not? Yeah. Why not? That's so me. random. <laughs> yeah. It's a mutual benefit. So, like, if I had a demo now, I'd down. I was about to ask. I'd have brought a demo. If you're good, though. I was like, I don't know. If you're good, <laughs> though. <laughs> because it just feels like, like, it's actually so random. Like, yeah. people that have worked for you, you've worked with, now you're featuring them on your album. It's not something that we can just gloss over and make it look like it's, it's something that happens randomly. Oh, no, 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 no. For me, if you're your... good, and if the music that we're doing fits into the category of songs I want to put that yeah, at the so time, yeah. then why why not? It's the mm. art. I agree. It's not about I anything agree. else. I, I think that I find your collaboration, the collaboration that you did mm -hmm. with, you you have a lot of interesting collaboration. Okay. I find your, every time I see you and Johnny Drill sing together. Ah, Johnny, my Johnny. Johnny's such a darling. I'm always <laughs> so, mind, I've seen you perform with Johnny couple of times mm -hmm. i'm always so mind blown and it's how you're able to just be in that journey because johnny's not a dancer mm -mm. johnny's a singer it's how you're just able to tap into that audience and perform with him live on stage and still do you in the way that you do you like you're not trying to be a dancer there how do you move on from this world like the kind of people that you collaborate with the kind of music that you do you're able to just flex all of them at different points okay so i have an endless list of influences so growing up, I listened to music from different artists doing different genre of music, slow, funk, you know, rock music, country music, Indian music, um, Nigerian music, African music. And that way I've learned a lot from them. At the end of the day is how you emote. As an entertainer, you're also an actor because you have to interpret the music that you're singing you're telling a story mm -hmm. so i can't be singing about love and be acting like a witch yep. it has to correlate mm -hmm. so that's why <laughs> what was growing up like for you what's your fondest childhood memory ah too many too many i grew up in a big house because mm -hmm. my father got married to three wives so i had three mothers mm -hmm. and then um we had many relatives in the house from each side mm -hmm. so at some point we we're about 30 40 in the house so that, you know, Fuji House Ma of Commotion. Sort of yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. So it was very, very interesting. Um, so you had to share. You couldn't be stingy. Because mm -hmm. everybody will abuse you. You are too stingy. Mm -hmm. You are very stingy. <laughs> so like, for, <laughs> for instance, if you had like a bottle of drink, mm -hmm. and maybe you want to go to the living room because they are watching maybe your favorite show or something, what you do is, Make sure that you down a considerable amount. So you just go in with something small. They will still beg you. <laughs> but you're not small. still telling them, don't finish it. I'm not drunk I'm anything. Not yet, anything. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's time to serve the food. Because mm? mm -hmm. 
because we they had to get cooks because we we're too many to cook. So they had to get cook. when they get when they cook the food, they put the um, food in the cooler. So for instance, maybe you had lunch mm-hmm. and you didn't get your piece of meat because someone took it. When it's now time for you to dish your own food, you put your piece of meat on the plate on first. The, they now serve yeah, the main the food, food, cover it and take another one. So somebody else is going to miss one piece of meat. So <laughs> different things like that happening. Then the gist in time, you know, and it was just, it was fun. Too many memories. That actually sounds like real fun. Mm. But you know that when describing it and seeing, how did that entire experience like shape you? Oh yeah, so um, it's made me, like now I'm very accommodating of people like, I don't judge people like if you're working with me, I'll make you be as comfortable as possible. Yes, you have to do your work, yeah. but we'll have a just in time, you know. Um, yeah, so I'm open to a lot of people and I know that everyone can be the same. Mm-hmm. That's fair. So I can mix with a lot of people because I grew up that way. I, I actually think that that makes a lot of sense. Now, if you're, if you do that environment, because sometimes I feel like as adults, mm-hmm. most of the like, a good number of what we become as an adult is shaped by our experiences as a child. Mm-hmm. Do you sometimes feel the need to isolate and be by yourself growing up in that type of a large family? Do you sometimes feel the need to just not be around people? Oh, yeah, 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 yes. Because, yeah. um, okay, when my, I, I used to be my dad's favorite child. Ooh. Yeah, so when he passed on, it was really hard for me. So what Aww. did I do? I just caved in. Uh. So growing up, I just used to observe a lot because a lot of the relatives were older than me. Yeah. So even now, some of them will be like, ah, that quiet Nini is the one singing, jumping uh, up and down. Yes. So I used to be very quiet. At home, I was quiet. In school, I was a noise maker. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so they didn't even really know who I was. Yeah. So at home, I'd just be like, because there were too many aunties, uncles, oh, shut up, shut up. Yeah. You know, but yeah. Sometimes I'll just, you know, be by myself, just look so myself in my room. as for music, if you say you always wanted to be an artist, mm-hmm. I mean, I want to believe that you and Tenny grew mm-hmm. up in the same house, of right? Of course. So are you guys always, like, singing? Do you guys so used I to used do, to like, force her. No way. And my other um, siblings and... To sing for, and perform for you? Yeah, no, to okay. back me up. Oh. Ah. So <laughs> it was even telling I'd be like, oh. I'd be like, no. So and then I had my imaginary Auntie Nini school. <laughs> so that's why the kids loved me. I used to play pretend with them uh, and stuff like that. And that's how she developed, you know, her love for music. Singing. Yeah. I think that's super cool. Mm-hmm. I, I actually think that. And then we'll so do you guys have like? Noise. Do you guys like have some songs that you guys used to sing when you were kids? That also it was yeah, Celine Dion. No, like ones that you coined. Maybe some. Me no, then no. You guys no, never no, no, made no, no, any no. songs. No, 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 we didn't. I, th- I think it's super cool how, like, you and Tenny are able to do music of and course. just be, like, cool sisters. Because mm-hmm. I remember I remember seeing... Yeah, like, so cool. Yeah, yeah. I remember seeing one advert that both of you did. Uh-huh. I can't remember the name of the advert now, but I saw both of you acting as sisters in the advert or something like uh-huh. that. And it was actually so cool. And I know that every time I've spoken to Tenny, she's like, ah, Nini. She's like, oh, Nini. And I'm just yeah. like, <laughs> you guys are actually so cool as uh-huh. siblings. Of course. How are you guys able to, like, just... Maintain that despite being in the same industry. Yeah, because I'm a cool sister. I've always been cool. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but do you sometimes feel the need to play like big sister? No, I don't need to play. I am. You no, are no, big I mean sister. like with her. Mm-mm. You don't understand. <laughs> she now, she I am. is big sister. <laughs> like, wait, you can call her like, tiny kilo one year, kilo de tofi. Do you do that? Like, do okay, you so do so? I remember one day I saw, I saw her, she was sagging. I'm like, wait, put, put, put that thing. <laughs> As she came to me, she was like, Nini. I'm a superstar No, no, no. no. So like, Nini, please, don't, please don't, don't embarrass me. Sir, I forgot to but put it up when I leave. And then in my mind, I was like, what well, let you put it up? I'm actually imagining her face in that moment. Because ah. But she dare not. Eh? Ah, she collects. Like Nini, ah, no one is my love. Yeah. But you know, when when it's time to play and stuff, uh, yeah. But you guys have like music conversations when you, when you're when she's like in her music space or like wanting to have conversations with people or maybe do you guys bounce off ideas with each other? What kind of ideas? Like music, life, or maybe she's feeling a type of way. Oh, Nini. Does she ever come d- and like play you songs and be like, which one do you like? Okay, yeah, she she always wants to play some, but I'm someone I don't like to listen. 
to people's work mm. especially when i have to go into the studio because mm. i remember when she started i told her i said i don't want a situation whereby you say mm. do you get so yes so i'm like you know what so when it comes to the music we we separate it mm. Right, mm-hmm. uh, every other thing, yes, but the gossip and everything, sure, sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. <laughs> because you cannot go and tell somebody that I said this, yeah, and I cannot go and yeah. tell somebody, and that that's on period. That. And that, that, that's actually on so period, like pure cool gossip, unedited, yeah. unfiltered. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when, you're, when, you're, when you're having conversations with Tenny, do you speak English or we're talking to your family? Do you speak English or do you speak like your language? Just the way I talk to you. Oh, yeah, we're always, you're about we're always about come. Come out. Yeah. <laughs> actually, that's cool. Anyways, um, shout out to you, Nini. I think that you are a very, very, like, cool person, even away from the music. Mm-hmm. And with the music, you've just somehow just focused on the music. Oh, Every yeah. time I see you, I'm always just asking, I don't know how you do it. Like, you're just never in the, you're just never in the bullshit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're very intentional about it. Anytime we hear about Nini, the only thing... Yes, is it's music. It's intentional. We hear about yeah. it, just the music, mm-hmm. the performance. With this, just the work. Just the work. Mm-hmm. And also speaking with you, you've been able to, from the conversation that we've had, I feel like you spend a good number of your time just doing the work. Mm. Yes, because I love doing it. It's fun for me. It's, it is fun. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. But I'm just saying, like, shout out to you for just doing that. Thank just you, my darling. Staying on your business and just minding your business Very and just focusing. Yeah. So I think I'm also kind of like curious as when did you know that you had to when did you know that you had really really held it down in the afro house space because like everybody to be honest anywhere you go and we're talking about Uh, afro house the the first name you're going to call to be honest is nini ola mm -hmm. and sometimes i just wonder when did it dawn on you that okay this is my thing this comes easy to me i'm just gonna keep flourishing in this lane because yeah. like i'm doing it so well and everybody's loving it when did mm-hmm. it like dawn on you when what 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 point in your career did that okay like... i think i touched it earlier mm-hmm. maybe you guys mm-hmm. missed it but i'll say it again mm-hmm. <laughs> so um after ibadi mm-hmm. right when i dropped ibadi and people were like wow afro house wow this is so cool mm-hmm. ah, she's even nigerian blah 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 just that that and i'm like oh they like it because it, it was an experiment for me. Mm-hmm. I told Saz I wanted a sound that and could accommodate just singing and dancing. And I did it, and people loved it. Mm-hmm. And after that, we did Soke. Mm-hmm. And they started calling me Queen of Afro. Mm-hmm. Ah. Can I give I, me, I like that title. Yeah. I do I like it. Sit, yeah, I'm going to sit there. And yeah. that's, that's when I realized, that's okay, me. this is it. This is it. Yeah. Okay, so this album is pretty much you now saying, okay, there's this Ama Piano thing that you guys are also saying. It's kind of like what I'm doing. Let me just like sprinkle a bit of it on this Afro house that I'm doing. So the thing about okay. EDM is EDM has different um, subgenres. It yeah, has yeah, techno, it has house, house, all of that. Mm-hmm. And so because I'm doing that, I can easily jump from, from one subgenre to, to the other. So it's a playing field mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. And as someone who is in that space of mm-hmm. Afro house, like you're also able to like give us the ama piano when you want to. Like, you've also collaborated with, like, South African artists. No, of course. Um, yeah. you, and Smangori is South African. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, the second track, Pepe Dem, was produced by Carl Tonic. He also produced um, All Eyes on Me. Yeah. Um, and Fuse also, t- you know, gave it a yeah, few yeah. here and there keys. Yeah, so, of course, and um, the legend as well. So, as someone who plays with these genres that are not... Nigerian genre, the niche. Do you understand? Yeah. How do you feel about conversations when Nigerians are saying like other artists shouldn't be trying to do like our mm. own sound, or other artists shouldn't be doing Afrobeat, or other artists shouldn't be recognizing the Afrobeat space? And as someone who has collaborated with other artists and you and the sound that you do is you work with a lot of South African sound and other like genres, you you, you f- mm-hmm. really flex those other genres. Okay. How does that? What do you? How do you feel about the conversation about genres generally? So, okay, so for me, I just feel like classification is necessary so you have an identity, mm. right? Mm. Other than that, <laughs> it's the music we want to enjoy. Yeah. If you like, say your music is... If it's not sweet, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if somebody is dragging this or somebody is saying this, that's what they want to do. It's none of my business. 
I'm just here to have fun. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to castigate anyone. Yeah. If you like doing it, have fun. Yeah. But for me, I just feel like everything is borrowed. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing is new under the under sun. The sun. Yes, right? So just do you, make it beautiful. It's art. Mm -hmm. If you're going to borrow from somebody else or be inspired by somebody else, just do it right. Mm -hmm. that's, that's my take on it. That's fair. Who is the first like, international artist that, you know, recognized you that you were so mind blown about? Like the first. Oh, oh, who, who was that? Oh, I think it was Drake. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it was Drake. Yeah. Do you remember where you were when? I was it a message? Was I, it a call? I think I was doing. I was. I was. I was. Um, I think I was in the bathroom. <laughs> I don't even know his number. I want to number sorry, I don't remember. It was. <laughs> Should I paint a picture? Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying attention because I'm. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was him, <laughs> and then there was Timberland. Ooh. And then the. Oh no. Uh, and then the. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> Aha. <laughs> Ah, what? Mm. What? See, what? see. And Got that you. Who? Okay. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, It's fine. Continue. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's cool. I, that's I, okay. I get it. That's, that's fine. Okay. Don't no swear enough. If it were me too, that would be that's me too. Okay. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> yeah, and a couple of others. Yeah. You know, but yeah. It, it just feels very good when you get, you know, a shout out or not from, from a legend or from someone that inspires you. Yeah. It just feels very good. Like a pat on the back, like yeah, you're doing well. Of course, you'd be excited. Yeah. <laughs> if it's you, Uncle, yeah. do you think you're ever going to give us a even Missy? Okay, oh. so um, Ooh. yes, I did. Um, I, that would have felt really great. On on one of my my songs, um, I don't want to look like you, look like me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so the video was shot by Clarence. I kind of impersonated her. Yes. yes. And then so when I posted clips of the video and the BTS. Some people tagged her, yeah, her mm, and yeah. she eventually said, hello, hi, how are you doing? Yeah. yeah, so it's so funny. That is, like, so cool. Yeah. That actually feels so cool. It's yeah. So as a performer, mm -hmm. what stages do you have your mindset on that you know that when you get to, when you perform at this place, you're going to be like, okay. I don't did it. I don't did it. Okay, so uh, there are different stages, and that I don't did it uh, is the money my sister Really? <laughs> because at this stage, oh, but one obviously, year. whatever, because whatever, whatever that, big stage is no, always no, 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 called. No, no, you know, uh, you, with no, 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 no. You know something when, coming if up. You're, if you're when I mean perform, I'm saying she's she's going to be the star of the night time. Yeah. I feel if, even if I'm not mm. the star of Kumi the no night time, my sister. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm telling you that the money. Oh, when you go for. <laughs> Why do you like body like this? Ah, see, that's ah. why I say, let me tell you something. If I'm booked for a show, mm -hmm. I do not care if I open the show. In fact, I want to open the show and go because I probably yeah, have another yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. Do you Ooh. get But I'm not one of those that'll be like, ah, I'm going to close it. Uh, I will burn it down. Regardless. So, open just close be people. ready. So think of what you want to do after me. I, I can but you I word, word, <laughs> because she always so comes that's what with, like, I'm for me, oh, mm -hmm. it is the more me. So even if, right, you book me now, yes, so if you book me, oh, I will pray for you, let people come, let mm. people buy tickets, let everything mm. go well. But if you book me, and you say I should perform to a table and chair, oh, what's that? And that money is good. <laughs> Oh, that's the table and the chair. You see the table and the chair. The table and the chair will be twerking. Oh, let go me. When you you people will be like, table and chair you twerking is that crazy. Imagine, <laughs> you, you think there are imaginary people there? Because I'll, I'll take imaginary, I'll take one imaginary girl's hand. As for age. Twister, dance with her. When I finish, when I dance, give all my energy. Oh, no refund. <laughs> I'm oh a my God. God. <laughs> please, please, please. I'm begging you, like literally. She said the table uh, and the chair. But, will I, can't, be but I have actually lost count of how many times Nini <laughs> has mentioned money on this podcast. No, but but Nini, you but like my, money. But, oh, but surely, but surely there are some stages that you've seen certain people performing, and you're like, I would like to be on this stage and kill it, maybe even more than this person has done on the show. Let's say, for example, there's like Super Bowl. There's like. 
it's all time. There's oh, like those see, there are too many mm -hmm. of them, mm -hmm. right? But what I'm saying that right now, with why I am, mm -hmm. it's not just, oh my God, I want to go and perform. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Give, me give me my money. Give but I saw all these places. I'd rather you money. send me to a kitty and pay me that money than you take me to America for free. But there's some places that if you... Wait, she okay, said no. that wait, she wait, there's some places that money. what? Wait. Give me my money. Ah. Would you give me my money? I was going to say, I was going to say, but say there's what? some places that when oh, yeah, you talk. perform, uh -huh. obviously, the, you know that the crowd is, your, your crowd. listeners and your fans are getting bigger. You're definitely introducing yourself now. to way bigger audience. She's like, I don't now. Care. I don't think that there's anything I'm going to say. I no, <laughs> see, 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 I get what you're saying about, I see, I get what you're, say, you're saying about, you know, wanting yeah. to perform on big stages, right? Mm -hmm. Sure, there's some stages I want to grace, mm -hmm. yeah. that I want people to experience me, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. But it's not a charity organization, my darling. Oh, definitely, if you were, okay, if you were get, getting paid. Okay, maybe I didn't phrase the question right. There are many, like, you mentioned Super Bowl. Okay. And you know them, be yeah. mentioning them. <laughs> but you also, but what she's trying to say is, like, She's really just like About, you need to like pay my money. The yes, because sometimes I also to. I also think that sometimes there are certain things that you might perform, they might feel like you being here is enough. So yeah. you know that okay, starting up, yeah, yes, you know that okay, there are some stages you, you don't mind getting on for, for free. free yeah. That is fine, my darling. Moti she she kara for ten years. Yeah, you understand. Moti kwe pongo moti she kwe boy. So tell me, funny wo. Tell me. Don't you wait, wait. You say you like my hair. You like my hair. <laughs> the way she's flipping it back on me now. Like, oh like, my God. No, no, like, no, no, no. Is it not money? Okay. I'll oh not tell, wait. Oh, I'll not tell my dancers. Ladies, we are doing this for free. Do you want them to abuse me? <laughs> because I pay yeah. my dancers well. Be do you know why? Are you, are you hiring? I pay my dancers. You know why? Because <laughs> I demand a lot mm. from them. Hmm. So I'll now tell yeah. them, ah, yes, we're cool. Oh. We play with this. We sit and we eat together, everything. But ah, they take their money. <laughs> so they know that if I'm calling them, they're going to be paid. Yeah. Yeah. So if I will not call them and they know that, well, ah, this woman will not pay us. They'll just say, man, we're not available. Who wants that? Yeah. So ah, who will pay? <laughs> She's like, give me my, just give me my give money. Me, uh, give, me give me my money, money Neil. Just give me my me money, money Neil. Because that's how somebody will now, will now get this clip now. Now, now say, Nini, but you said it in that interview that you, you just want to. You just want to have fun with the fans. See, don't get me wrong. I'm having fun. When you see me on stage, yeah, trust me, I'm all about the yes. fans, right? Yeah. But please, my JKB, you have to pay me if you want to see me. That's all. Maybe. With these few points of mind, yeah. I hope I've been able to convince Maybe. you and not confuse you that Owo oh, Nikoko. Yeah, Owo oh, Nikoko. <laughs> I, you know, I have actually lost count of how many times Nini has mentioned money on this podcast. Uh -huh. Nini, you do like money. You don't like money? I do, but... Melody, where are you from? <laughs> I know I'm a Ibu. I'm in Calabar. You see? Mimi, why right there? Let me bust your head. I'm from, I'm from Odogbolu. Eh? Eh. Odog Oma on Donia. Odogbolu Ogu State. Ah, Odogbolu. Wait. Ogu. Yes. My so mom. Ogu. Yes, now my mom is Igbo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, let me tell you something. You are still on my bow because you have the blood. I know, I know. So, I agree. So, see, on my bow likes what? Money. Yes, even people don't joke with money. They work for their money. They don't play. Yeah, my bow too. Ah. Uh -huh. So, why are you now asking if I like money? Oh, I want to get it. You know what? what <laughs> What's your love language as a person? Uh, my love language um, really is just, just, just be good, really. Just be nice, be sweet. It's not money, though. Mm. But please I mean, have money. I don't want to suffer. Of course. I of hear course. you. Of course. Be good <laughs> and have money. But have a good heart. Yeah. Really. Really. But Bobo Washa. <laughs> I've not come to this world to come and suffer. <laughs> find, they say go to where there's money and find love. Find someone with No, 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 but love there. before. Ah. No, like ah. be, that's what I'm saying. Oh, Rachel. They say, no, no, no. What, what I'm saying is be in the midst of money and then find love. So what first for you? <laughs> what comes first? 
the love or the money? <laughs> eh? Melody. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. It's not a first thing. It's eh? just that like, I just... I can't stop. So, you're yeah, in love with the money, not the No! Uh, uh, let's not say yeah, that. You're a bad guest. N- you, Nko? No, that's not what I'm what saying. What comes first? Uh, it's love. It's no, no. I'm so, you, you, can, you can date a poor guy. When you put it like that. But I can. I, I but if he has potential? Yeah, so I'm, I'm, yeah, you, when, 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 when people say poor, poor is, I think that's, relative, I, I think it's, yeah. exactly, yeah. relative, yeah. relative. Yeah. So, so I like, if, 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 when, if someone has, like, real life aspirations and, like, And you're working, it's not like you're not you're doing anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. No, that, 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 that person is not poor. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So that's what I would say, so I would say love, love comes money first thing. for me. But again, I'm holding on to my, um, quote of go to where there's money and find love. So I'd be amongst the money and then find love. Then. But see, then you now find out that that guy you turned down now became a third dollar the following day. Can that's why I said, being am, <laughs> no, I'm t- but that's sure. life. This is what it is. For example, what I'm trying to say is if you're living, let's just take for example, if you live in a neighborhood that is filled up with wealthy people, the people that you interact with on a daily or on a Really that that neighbor, what re- if the neighborhood is mind your business and mind my business? No, no, no. What if? I'm just saying that the people that you most likely encounter when you stay in a certain type of an environment, I don't even mean this like physically living there. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, saying sure, that sure. if you relate, with, the, most yeah. people that you relate, just take for example, your I know dollars daughter who had, before you come across the boy on the road that does not have a house and does not have, not he's very... Slim, what like that has, be, a, you, no, that has to be. I told you, the driver cannot fall in love. No, with then, then oh, exactly. Really? Then it becomes, then it becomes a special story, you know. Then it now becomes a special story. <laughs> Let it now be that it now happens to this be the driver. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But this first, first thing, first. <laughs> first things first. If you don't grow mind up me, in yeah, I understand what you're saying. If you live in the, if, the people with that you most likely interact with yes. are people that would have something your going caliber. on for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's my, I'm just of the opinion that people should just find a way to be around people that are valuable and then find love. I, I genuinely... Well said. Yes. yes, yes, well said. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, well, I, I, okay. <laughs> but like like Nini said, I, I think that, to be honest, mm-hmm. it's not even a conversation of, oh, you have to be wealthy. I feel like so long as you have something you're doing, you have yeah. a job, you're making your own money, you're yeah, not, you understand, you know, understand, you have your own you're aspirations, you're working it. towards it, you're not not doing anything. I mm. think that that's, that's, that's also wealth in some in some ways. That doesn't have to be like you're so extremely rich, but you have your own money and everybody's fine. But extremely rich, rich would be nice. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's not forget that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So, Nini, what's your, yes. what's your, What's the one thing that you cannot do without as a person? What do you mean? Yeah. Like, you know that as a person, That's you can't, simple. like, this is something that you need to function as a human being. Like, you can't, there are people that will say, oh, I can't do without my coffee. I can't do without, this is, I can't exist without this. You don't have anything that is like, oh my God, I can't. Guilty it, pleasures. It, it, yeah, it, it changes. Mm. Like, today it might be my ginger tea and tomorrow I don't even want to smell it. Mm. So it, it changes. Yeah. Today what was your like last obsession? Um, with the, like, what was your last mini obsession? Yeah. It would be ginger tea. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Ginger tea, and then see, I still have a cold in here in my body. Mm. Yeah. I was chasing a cold, and then every like hour, I was drinking ginger tea and honey. The ginger finished. I was like, you push, you can buy me ginger. Oh. And now I don't even want to drink it again. So yeah, it doesn't have to be like much. Yeah, of course. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And I think that do you think you're 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 a creature of habits or you do you like to do do you live a life like you plan everything? Like oh this morning I have to drink my ginger tea before I do this. Uh-uh, no, or you don't no, have no, a no, are no, you I'm a routine, not that kind of routine person. No, 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 I'm not. Just be style. So I just but be but style, for someone yes. that's very hands on and does like handles things yourself, mm-hmm. I would like to believe that with everything you're saying, you would make for a great project manager because you're managing yourself as a project okay so let me let me let me let me tell you Mm -hmm. this thing that i learned a long time ago Mm -hmm. right who you surround yourself with is very important Mm -hmm. and who you give your ear it's just Mm -hmm. like you have a ceo that says oh i'm not going to employ anyone who is smarter than me when you're the foolish person so now they 
surround yourself with people that are ready to work mm. people that will, you know push you to work people that are all about the work maybe even m- could even brag that they love the work more than you and that way it's a team work mm. so it's not just you hmm. yeah that makes sense. I, and also when you also speak on like teamwork and working with people mm-hmm. you like you're giving credit to your manager you're like oh he does this he does that mm-hmm. and all of that you are not as you're not afraid i don't want to use the word afraid you're not bothered about sharing your line yeah. like or like because you have people that are like superstars and when they be working with people they might not even necessarily want to mention them or they might not necessarily want to give them credit oh, they might not have their reasons them. Yeah. So when people act a certain way, you shouldn't judge them immediately and be like stereotype them because oh some people talk this way they are mm-hmm. like this. Some people it depends on who they are working with. Mm-hmm. Maybe that person cannot handle praise. Hmm. That's not about. That's me Fair. making excuses. So yeah. And there are some yeah. wicked people. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> Do you get? <laughs> yeah. But for me, I pride, you know, myself in having good people around. You know, because I can't do it alone. Yeah. If it were just me, trust me. Hmm. Oh my bad girl. <laughs> How have you had the I don't know your entire team. Mm-hmm. I don't know the I don't know all of your dancers, mm-hmm. so I can't I can't speak on that aspect. Mm-hmm. But on the front facing side, I know that you know Michael is someone that I have had to speak to at different points as mm-hmm. regards you. How have you had the same? I'll just assume this is the thing that you do with other people. Mm-hmm. How have you had the same team doing with Michael for this long? Oh, I, lo- I work with people for a very, very long time, and except the person is ready to go. Mm-hmm. And you know, the, the, like people will say things like, so in the music industry, they'll be like, oh, ah, you're working with an artist, you have to be very careful though. Tomorrow, an artist can wake up tomorrow and say they don't want you again. They mm-hmm. go in mm-hmm. and you've built your entire life around this person. How have you been able to stay loyal to your team and not be the artist that be saying, "Oh, I am the superstar. Everybody go. I don't need you. I can change my manager tomorrow." Okay. So first of all, it's a give and take situation, hmm. and then you have to be intelligent to know that person's worth. Hmm. Now, if you're letting somebody go, are you shooting yourself in the leg or what? At the end of the day, everybody's working around the clock for you. Hmm. So now. What is that person bringing to the table? Is it easy? Is that person easy to replace? Do you trust that person? You see, you will have fights, you have arguments. That's fine. It's normal. But the thing about what's this person bringing to the table? Is that person is valuable? If you are intelligent enough to realize that this person is valuable enough, trust me, you will not lose value because you see that person that you are losing, right? They say the devil, you know, is better than the angel. You have to know who that person is and, you know, work with the person. So if you have somebody that is good, why would you be so stupid to let that person go? Exactly. So only if the person doesn't want to go. I mean, stay. But yeah, that's it. Because if you have that person that's been with you for a long time, the person understands where you're coming from midway and when you're where you're going, rather than working with a new person that, that just... That's seeing you maybe when you're at a certain stage and the person is just coming for the money. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you have to be intelligent so in of, enough to in make certain of decisions. Who you know, are you, do you, like your, your closest friends, because I want to believe that, I know you don't really. I don't have so many friends. Yeah, so no. your closest friends, are they like people that you've known before you became, before a, superstar? You became a superstar? Of course. And that's all. So are, they, are they like different walks of life? Or are they, are oh, different. They also different. How do you link up with them? Do you still link up? Do they like, do you hang with them? Do you guys have like. Okay, so I, I think I have only two friends. Hmm. Do you want yeah, one is in out? America, one is in Abuja. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and your friends are not even where you are. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. So do you guys like plan trips where you just like link up somewhere or something? I haven't seen them in a while. I think I haven't seen this a in a while, but Jane. Yeah, when she comes to Lagos, yeah. When she comes to mine, I'll go to hers. Mm. Or if I go to Abuja for a show, we'll link up, I'll go to hers, or mm. she'll come to my hotel and stuff, yeah. So you be staying okay. loyal? Oh, of course. Let, you're not going to get new friends. They'll not rat you out. Hmm. 
all your business will not be outside. Will not yeah, be out true. there on all the, the social media. One that is true, the one that is not true, you not be shallow. You explain, 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 explain tire. Hmm. <laughs> no, but my sister. But shout out to you though, because yeah. the, I think it's more of your POV. You being the person saying that you are going for that to still be worth in having the same people around you. Of course. Times, celebrities be like, I am the superstar, so everybody should be great. I'm hard headed, but you. I'm not that hard headed. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I, and I'm very particular about who's coming close to me. Yeah. yeah. And so if you've been with me for years and everything has been cool why change the formula if it's why not broken it why do you want to fix it, it? Mm -hmm. i agree with you 100 percent, and that's on period yeah thank you so much Niniela. yes baby through. girls thank even you though you didn't even me. offer me anything you didn't offer me anything i'm oh thank you so much Niniela, for coming through this was actually so thank cool. you i just feel like we're just different and different. will you dash me your yeah. silver <laughs> it won't be your side there's so much this is uh, if you ask me to give you this silver it's quite cheap and her silver is very fine. So she said she would give you but give because me. I will but collect the things. Eh? The no. wig. Ah uh, ah. Uh, remove your own first. You know that before I remove my, my own. Is glued. Wait, <laughs> wait. You know that before I don't know that before I remove my own, I have to remove the cap first. But your own we can just yank no, it off. It's glued. It's not it glued. It is not. Like it's I can see. Why are you lying? Ah. You know, drive but it for it's, you. Oh yeah, wait, wait. So if we check now and it's glued. Do we do we want to bet? Am I your mate? Ah! <laughs> she brought out, she yeah, brought out that a mommy didi right now. She said, oh my god! I well, it's, it's glued as well. I glued it down. Oh, she actually did. I did oh, glue she it did glue it down. Why, but why did you glue it? Why did you do that one? No, like that you can easily remove it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just glued it down. It's a, it's a glueless wig. I that glued it down. That is easily that you can pull out. Oh, no. uh, okay. No, but if you pull it out right now, you take all my front head I'm managing. No, what did you do? This is glue. Oh, spray glue. Spray glue. Uh, you can easily yank it today. Don't whine us, please. Yeah, yeah, Still doesn't you. mean that, but your own might thank be faster you. to remove. My own? Mm. Why do you think so? You need the glue down. Eh? Don't ask me. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I can't. But thank you so much, Nini, for coming through. If you haven't checked out our body or work press play, you should absolutely go check it out. And if you've never been to a show, that Nini is performing, mm. or Nini has performed that. If I don't know what you're are doing. Are you giving us a headline this December? Please. Oh, Nini, are you doing something for Did us? Did you come to the listener one? Please invite me now. But talk about that. Talk if about I see show, I'll buy a ticket. But say in December. Because you're, you're going to give me a something. show, I know. Do you understand? Okay, you know what? You want to come to the show? Yes. Are you going to sponsor? <sighs> Michael will make the calls. Talk and do what you Michael will make the calls. <laughs> Let's let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Michael will make the calls. Michael is like, oh no, yeah, you I, trust Michael now? Yeah, like mad, like mad. Ah, <laughs> Michael, trust Michael. Michael die. Do you die. Remember, you don't even call the Michael. I know that he's the man. Michael, Michael, Michael could just run one or two Michael, now. Michael, Michael is the G, correct guy. You see, and that's what Michael. We're counting on you. This December, we're counting on you, Michael. Make it happen, the G. The G, make it happen. No, Michael, Michael, Michael is my ear now. My stylist, I say, okay, is this nice? Is this good? He's everything. He Not looks like he does the style. Very hands on. I, I, I see. He buys <laughs> my hats for me. Oh. So, so if you want that hat, your hat plugs. Michael. Okay. Aww. Okay, Michael. <laughs> but Michael I ask him now. Tell him to buy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty please. <laughs> Pretty please. I put it all on you, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> But thank you so much, Nini, for coming thank through. Thank you Please for having me on. Body of work I, I had fun. We did, did too. You're making me miss I my friends. Ah. Uh, one called Jane and Jane and Bisola. Bisola or Bisola? Bisola. 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 Even though we always catch up on the phone, trust me. Yeah, yeah. FaceTime. No, no, no. I don't need FaceTime. <laughs> you know, when, when you've known someone you for know, long, yeah. Yeah, you understand. You know, the you understand. Everything, you remember the gesticulation. You remember everything. Putting law is just gold. I'm telling you. Just gold. Like that. Pa, 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 pa. Thank you for Shout having out me on this one. Shout out to this one. I had fun. We also have, have an amazing time. <laughs> yeah. Continue. Make sure you go check yeah. out our body of work. Press play. Better go press play. And if you ever hear that Nini is performing anywhere, you should be Pull there up and show up. I have attended so many of our shows. You're going to get your money. And wear comfortable shoes. Yes, and you're also going to dance. And if you're in the crowd, don't don't worry. She might pick you because she likes to come to the crowd and say, you come outside. Ah, ah, That's a mini thing You know me. That's a mini thing <laughs> <to> <laughs> so you come outside. <laughs> like you, you're having you such a good time. Come, 
come here. On the stage. And please follow her on social media across all social media platforms as official Nini. Nini Ola official. And yes, um, this episode drops on Monday, 8 a.m. at most 9 a.m. Make sure you check this out on your favorites or wherever you like to listen to your, to, you know, your podcast, Spotify, Apple, wherever. Check it out and leave us a comment on YouTube. You can also follow us across all social media platforms at Zero Conditions. My name is Melody. Shout out to Pop Central. Shout out to Shivers for holding it down. We love you. Bye-bye.